Our next performer has come down from Belfast. He is a painter and graphic designer. He's got some prints in the back room. And he is, in fact, the original designer of our Poets Express logo. And uh, I'm going to try not to mispronounce his name tonight. <laughs> Would you please welcome Dale Mawney? As Claire said, my name is Dale Mawney. I'm going to read some poems and chat a bit in between them. But first off, I'm just going to go straight into a poem. This poem is called One Minute More. Before a point of white light, a time before a short sear of pain, in a place of tunnels and panic, an angel grants me damnation. Bright blue eyes wide in fear. Tears flow down porcelain cheeks, dragging mascara to red lips. Parted, panting, drawing in air, her body a blur of beauty and movement as she ran across my path. I feel heat, pain, passion, loss. I fell in love with her and hated her. From far away, I feel the ground shudder. In her red heels, she almost falls over as she tries to move in the rush but holds her ground as she passes me. A trickle of sweat runs over her collarbone. Her red dress flowed back, dragged by the inertia of her speed. Fists drawn in tight in her fight for life. Her head twists back to me as I feel another shockwave rumble past. Another of me gone up in smoke. She approaches the exit. I hate her. I feel her terror at me. I love her beauty. She will survive at least a short while longer than my life. Watching her back as she vanishes, I pull out the switch and bathe in an inhuman white light. When I was 13, I was in a very vicious physical assault and though now I don't remember much of it, concussion can do that. I uh, wrote this poem based on what I think I remember and this poem is called Thrash. I keep thinking of a face I don't know, tussling with, with him beforehand I see a shadow feeling my nose click as warm rush of blood explodes. He kicks me in the stomach just after a woman's face. Walking into the room at the start, I see nothing but walls. With blood dripping out of my eyes, I see lips, ruby, red, wet and welcoming. With my broken nose and fractured jaw, I see clear eyes. Later, smoking in pain, I can't remember her hair color. Hunched over, repeatedly kicked in the face, I make her high porcelain cheekbones. Silently, his boots rain down through blood splatters. I look past his face to her smiling at me. A brief break as he walks away, assuming me repentant. Her beautiful face smiles and beckons that I speak. So I curse him, his heritage, mind, gender, body and soul. I hurl as yet to be created forms of abuse, burning his ears with my blasphemy of him. I glimpse him returning to his proceed. Pleased, she embraces me, holding tight. As he continues his torture, I feel nothing. Now I don't know she was ever there. Then I felt her stroking my blood-covered hair. Smiling me, she welcomes me to my victory. I leave him to his retreat. <laughs> 